safe trip back to Hollywood. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> So this is Masaki from the Queer ESL Twitter account. I have a guest. Hajime <laughs> Mashite. What's your name? Graham Des. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm happy to be here at Fat Cats okay. in Gunmar. He's here uh, to interview me uh, for his film project. Can you tell me about your film project a little bit? I'm making a documentary called Queer Japan, and it is about um, artists, activists, community leaders, and everyday people from across the gender and sexuality spectrum in Japan. When are you leaving Japan? Uh, I have to leave tomorrow, unfortunately, but mm -hmm. I'll be back in April for five months next year working on this film. That's cool. Can you tell me some words that are kind of newer that might not have been picked up in Japan? that are related to queer scene? Yeah, I think a big one that's been kind of trending in America <laughs> in the past few months is gender fluid, which has been around for a while, but um, it's starting to become a popular term because it's been used by celebrities like Jaden Smith and Miley Cyrus. It may be a little bit misappropriated by those people in a certain sense, but it's also kind of exciting to hear about gender fluidity entering the mainstream discourse. And there's this actress, Ruby Rose, who's on Orange is the New Black, who identifies as gender fluid as well. I mean, I suppose it just means not adhering to one specific gender, but being fluid and being able to move in between different genders. Is there any other word you want to introduce to the Japanese viewers? So another term that has a, a, a kind of a more highly contested term is uh, TERFs, uh, Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminists. It's an acronym and it's been used to describe feminists who are more biologically essential, uh, essentialist, who uh, are saying that, you know, transgender women and transgender men are not uh, real, they, they're discounting the authenticity of their gender. Maybe kind of more second wave feminists. Uh, in online discourse, uh, there's been a lot of vitriol from that section of the feminist community towards transgender people, so it's a term that helps uh, identify people who do not support transgender rights in the feminist community. Thank you so much, and uh, when are we going to be able to see your film? So, um, I've been doing several different interviews this week, and that's going to come together as a little short, mm -hmm. hopefully in December, um, and then the larger film will be shot next year and released in 2017, so keep an eye out. All right, we'll check that out. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Masaki. <laughs> it's All a right. pleasure to meet you. <laughs>